All right, what up, guys? We all know that right now, Season 6 is not the best, especially at the beginning when Respawn hasn't even released a patch yet. But I do have a few tips to try to survive the early season because it's really rough right now. A lot of glitches, a lot of everything else. But the very few tips that I have is to, number one, shoot Rampart's shield down, her little cover, the amp shield, before it, like, gets built up it's like a one to two second like interval before it like fully builds that you need to destroy that because if a rampart gets that up it makes every other gun that much annoying you haven't dealt with a double tab g7 scout with a rampart using it or the new hemlock with a rampart using it even if it's single fire or even in the burst mode it's disgusting i can't deal with it this new meta is trash honestly also, for another tip, if you're playing as Rampart, her minigun can actually break down doors. So if someone's trying to play you with the door and they're like standing in front of it so you can't use it, usually you have to use like a thermite or something or another grenade and run around. But now you can just set Rampart's minigun up right in front of it and shoot the door down. Or if someone's hiding inside of the door and you can see them, just shoot the door down with the minigun because it destroys it. That's something I learned the hard way because the rampart did it to me but yeah also for crypto mains this season crypto's drone can now res players from very far away and access service beacons instantly it's gonna be i don't see it used a lot in pubs not gonna lie to you if you have a triple stack this would be great but i feel like this is only gonna be used in high level ranked like maybe diamond and above i don't see any low level cryptos gonna actually be able to pull this off Honestly, because they just don't listen to you when you tell them a really good idea, like how to use their abilities, they don't care. Um, also, this season, you can now use the triple take as a shotgun slash sniper now. I always like using the triple take early game. I never saw the point of it during late game. I felt like the charge rifle was the best sniper in the game besides the Kraber because it's an actual hit scan gun. I, I never saw why people like the triple take especially just it messed up the uh the uh the vibe of the weapon because it used to just shoot out in like a pitchfork like from borderlands 2 the pitchfork sniper but now it just makes it like a regular sniper so i don't see the point of using it over the longbow but honestly it cannot be a sniper slash shotgun another tip octane stim cannot work with healing that doesn't mean you can run faster while you're healing still it's stupid i they should just make it be like that but if you use it right before you get done healing you don't take that damage so you know that little tick of damage you would take while you're using a stem if you heal right before you do, if you heal while you're doing it it doesn't count so which means octane can have a free run with taking no health off that's what that one thing in the patch notes was that everyone said was useless it does have a use actually also the replicator aka the crafting system is a great way to re-up on ammo between fights because you just gain scrap randomly throughout the thing i'm pretty sure you passively gain it sometimes i've ended up with like 40 scrap and i don't even know how i swore i didn't touch one of the things i'm pretty sure scrap is gained passively throughout the game but even if it's not just go to one of the things and in between fights just re-up it's helped a lot especially in games where i haven't found anyone so i can't take their ammo it's a really good like intermediate thing to use but it only gives you 20 ammo per thing so you need to literally use all three of them but you have enough scrap during one game anyway because you never use it also something to do with the replicators or you know the crafting system is you can actually heal your shield and upgrade it it gives it 100 evo points and it also heals your entire shield so if you have no heals or if you're in between a fight you can actually heal your shield and upgrade it to 100 evo points the downside of this is it gets rid of your shield for like a good three to five seconds and it's the, the ttk is even worse this season without that being the case so you'll get fried by everything the vault since it's a super accurate and a, basically a hit scan weapon since it's energy it's disgusting right now i thought it wasn't that great when i first used it but i now see like i was very wrong also the hemlock for this weapon meta like i said earlier with a rampart 
but the burst fire hemlock no longer has any kick to it they completely fixed the recoil on it so it doesn't shoot all the way back and it's this gun is broken like the only other thing that's almost as good as it is the burst fire prowler and that was already cracked the hemlock is dirty i'm not gonna lie to you i've been getting fried with it since season six started it's it's kind of meta right now it used to be a joke but the hemlock is really good right now also since the ttk is now so low it's stupidly low right now you need to take longer range fights i know what i just said about ramparts with g7s and hemlocks but that's the only way because if you get close to them i guarantee you they all have a bolt and the bolt is a hit skin a bolt a charge rifle or a devotion and every single one of those guns is energy which means their projectiles shoot faster they're basically the hit scan of this game the only other thing that's even faster than that is the charge rifle which is actual hit scan it just shoots out a ray that hits them instantly so you need to take longer range fights because the devotion is good at every given range far up close beat mid hemlock is great at every range far close and mid the only thing that's not great at every range is the bolt and that's only a long range but anywhere from medium to close that's it's still it and also charge rifle still in the game it's it's so stupid what they did with this meta also the vault is a great smg and does decent damage but why is no one using the prowler this season it was great last season and burst fire prowler is a three burst kill at, on the chest without a headshot at all i don't see why people aren't using the burst fire prowler and it also has 35 with a purple mag versus the vault with 26 i don't get it prowler is meta yeah i everyone's complaining about the vault how it needs to be nerfed the if that's the case the prowler needs to be nerfed the prowler is the best smg in this game it's been so for two seasons the only thing is people don't like that you so quote unquote need a select fire you don't the burst fire prowler is it's faster kill it's a faster ttk or well, a lower ttk than the rapid fire prowler and they fix the uh the vertical recoil with that too and the side to side recoil with the uh with the rapid fire one so it's still it's still the best smg in class right now the only other thing that can semi um compete with it is the vault but i still think the prowler wins out but and also why is everyone using the vault the havoc is way better in my opinion still the havoc is broken again it's just like the vault it shoots faster and it hits harder yeah you don't have the strafe speed but who needs strafe speed when you can just kill them faster and they can dodge you that's all i'm saying and it's basically hit scan just like the vault i know the vault has no recoil but they the havoc if you can just get it under control it basically has no recoil either it's it's honestly a disgusting thing especially with a rampart shield especially with that rampart shield i'm sorry but that's the only tips i can give for this season until they fix the shields until they fix the glitches i've a lot of people have been having audio glitches i haven't but yeah that's all i got